Hi, welcome to another painting adventure with Habowski Studio. This is Bruce. I'm going to be working on uh, my cloud work today. A few puffy clouds out. I want to practice uh, my skills at uh, giving the illusion of clouds and that sort of thing. And of course, uh, you got the Colby steeple over there. I'm over at Colby College and uh, get some stuff going on in the foreground here. And I'm going to do this on a 5x9. Uh, again, I've taken my 9x12 and drawn out two different sizes. Remember that from another video. And expanded palette again today, and I will go over that later. Because I want to get some uh, cloud shapes in. Of course, the challenge here is going to be, obviously, once you start working on clouds, they're going to be moving frequently especially depending on the wind which slight breeze not too bad and uh, so I'm gonna have to pick some shapes and stick to it and uh, we'll see how this goes so just used a little number two pencil to sketch in the scene a little bit and as you can tell I moved the tower over a little bit to the right for a better composition and I'm going to make sure shapes uh, varying heights and that sort of thing. Not everything's even height. Give a little more interest. I'm also going to make up a few little more suggestions of buildings so it doesn't look like this tower is alone over there. I think it would make for a more interesting uh, idea of the scene. And then, of course, uh, start blocking in some clouds. And sometimes you might even wait for the perfect cloud formations and sketch them in really quick and then stick with that. Uh, I'm going to experiment with that, and uh, once I get going here, I'm going to do a little value thing with some uh, raw umber. Okay, just uh, putting the uh, raw umber to it, sketch it out, and you can see I've added a few little buildings, just making up a few things because we're painters and we can do that. Just want to give a sense, like uh, even though this is Colby Tower, maybe it could be a church or, or like a little village over the little meadow here. And it's kind of nice too as I'm blocking this in, I'm kind of keeping an eye on the clouds a little bit because I might, it might change enough to do a uh, quick blocking with the little umber values and to, to establish where they're at. I want, I want to really set off around the steeple. As you can see, that's the lightest part and that's going to be the focal point. And uh, so that's what how it's going right now. And I'm going to work on that relationship first and then go to the grass because that's my focal point. As you can see, I'm just painting in some uh, middle values here and pushing a little bit of the darks here and there. Obviously not the clouds you see, but I'm pulling out, extracting elements of the clouds that I see as they go by. And I'm paying attention to uh, some counter change because this is going to be lit with light. So that's going to be set off by this cloud and then the edge of the tree there. So I like to do that counter change in a painting to add some dynamic uh, drama to the scene. So and then the highlights will be some, uh, play around some yellow ochre and white and some cat orange and white, cat red and white, varying the uh, temperatures and see what happens. Okay, here's why I got going on. And uh, of course painting on panels today and it doesn't seem, it seems a little too absorbent, the panel. And I've had this sitting around the studio. Possibly could have uh, gessoed it with a different acrylic gesso. Um, could be a little more glassy so the paint goes on in a different way. But, uh, and I would have to had a toned panel. Uh, I worked on a medium gray toned panel the other day, which was nice for popping in the lights and darks and all that sort of thing. So, but it's okay to experiment every now and then for different colors of this is just a plain white gesso so that's something else uh, next time I probably would have done a warm undertone for the uh, greens that are going to be in here but yeah live and learn I still uh, am enjoying it and uh, picked out my own cloud thing going on because now the clouds aren't there I'm trying to give some drama to the scene to set off that tower and uh, set up in the shade a little bit in a tree behind me here so that helps keeping I'm getting some dappled sunlight but I'm anticipating the Sun will go in a different direction and start going down a little bit so we'll see 
Okay, here's what I have so far. Um, part of the problem is I was back in the sun over here, and uh, my I miscalculated on the movement of the sun. No big deal. Uh, just another little sketch. I'm liking the foreground field. Uh, I want to put some palette knife work on there. Paint's just a little too oily to get the dryness of the to give the suggestion of the flowers. So I'm going to wait for it to tack up. And I think that was part of the problem earlier was the paint was kind of thin with some turps and a little bit of oil. But it's kind of breezy and it's kind of warm out today. I think helped tack it up too fast. Um, so, but I'm liking the composition. And uh, I want to thank you for joining me. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for watching. And if you're not, please subscribe to get more content. And leave your comments in the box below. I do like this guy quite a bit. I'll probably do another little clip at home. Hello fellow artists, this is Bruce in Hibowski Studio again, and uh, this is just a follow-up. I brought the painting home that I did this morning, and it's interesting, um, like I said before, can't say it enough, getting it away from the subject and studying it when you get home. Now, well, towards the end of the shoot, um, I miscalculated where I was in the shade of some trees and the sun came out towards the end and it was kind of on the painting and uh, very distracting and I had mentioned before in a video about making the shadows too um, dark colors too dark when you're in the sun because you, you, you're thinking oh it's not dark enough it's not dark enough and same with the lights they're not light enough you make them too light so I ran into a little of that and I was approximating and when I get it home I really like how it came out that sky I'm really happy with it and I'll be doing some of the little yellow flowers and white flowers uh, once this tacks up a little too wet right now and uh, you know, I'll soften some edges and so on but I'm really really like how it came out and like I said I had moved this tower over to the right a little bit because it's too much in the middle and you know what it's okay to do that we're artists it's called artistic license and and uh, you got to make it a painting, you know. Minor little thing, uh, the height of this is close to the height of this, so I'll probably move, take some sky color, and right now with the paint's wet, I'll wipe out some of that green, so when I put the lighter tone over that later, it won't uh, potentially bleed through, you know, years down the road, whatever. And uh, so there's more of a undulating size difference. Nothing's even across so anyway I'm gonna do a few silent moments of just getting in there sorry for the streaks of sunlight from my cedar tree but let's see how this picks up I'm not sure and I gotta get some new round brushes I want to work with some of those some of my flats are worn out so I gotta Replay some of those, but uh, really liking the warm and cool contrast in the grass. Same with the sky, and uh, really, really like this piece. So please comment, and uh, again, please subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye now.